Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will be going over rotation point and uh, how you can effectively use it. So uh, I have the picture of the uh, Aztec bull that uh, you can download from the uh, Affinity view panel when you first open the program. And uh, if you select, so I've selected this group right here. As you can see, I can, uh, I can move it. And what you want to do is say I wanted to rotate it. So what you can do right now is just rotate it around its center point. And that's uh, that's pretty useful, but it's not as effective as what if you wanted to rotate it around sort of a corner point or something. So what we have here is if you come up to the top toolbar and you come right here to sew ro rotation center, a little crosshair icon right here will come up right here. And that's right now the center of rotation. So what you can do is then select your move tool by hitting V. And you can now move the rotation center. So now I can rotate it about this corner. Say I wanted to rotate it about this page corner. I can do that now. What if I wanted to rotate it about this point right here? I can select there and rotate it about this. So if it's in the selection box, it's going to rotate around wherever you put it. So if you put it in the eye, it's going to rotate about the eye. But if you take it out of the selection box, it's going to rotate around the specific point outside the selection box. Now what this really works in conjunction with really well is snapping. So if you have snapping on, which is uh, selected by this magnet up here, you can actually see certain things on the page. You can see uh, certain icon points if you come up here and select uh, the snapped key point, snapped object geometry. You can then continue to snap to certain points right here, so like the center of the image. You can rotate this around. You can go to the center of your selection and rotate about it. So what this is really effective for is if you have to line up certain things or rotate certain shapes to fit in a specific area, like a puzzle. Um, it's really effective for uh, post editing things. So if you ha uh, are adding certain things, like say you're adding uh, something to a photo, you're drawing on top of a photo and you need to quite match the curve to something, you can rotate it about it to make it a little bit easier. But uh, that's it for the rotation tool. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo tutorials coming soon. And uh, thanks.